Chapter 1. Plants. The Producers. Get into. Take the food items that we get from plants. Plants are very important to us. All food people eat comes directly or indirectly from plants. Plants are also living things. Then what do they feed on? Well, plants are the only living things that are able to make their own food. That is why they are called the producers. Infomine. When the leaves turn colors in the fall, they actually are returning to their normal colors. Green leaves are the main organs of the plants that prepare food for it. For this, they are called the food-making factories of the plant. It must be surprising for you that no two plants have the identical leaves, just like no two humans have the same fingerprints. Fur People Rose Maple Parts of a leaf A leaf has two main parts, blade or lamina and petiole or leaf stalk. Blade or lamina is the flat, broad part of a leaf. The leaf in most plants is attached to the stem with a stalk-like structure called the petiole or leaf stalk. Blade has a net-like pattern of veins. These veins are actually channels with help in the transportation of water, minerals and food between leaves and the various parts of the plant. The vein running through the center of the leaf is called main vein or midrib. Several small veins are connected to the main vein called side veins. When you see a leaf through a magnifying lens, you will see that the upper layer of it contains green cells. These green cells are called chloroplasts. The chlorophyll pigment that gives the green color to the leaves is found in chloroplast. Main vein, petiole, side vein, blade, infomine. Cactus spines are modified leaves that ensure to minimize the loss of water. The lower layer of a leaf contains small openings called stomata. The exchange of gases takes place through stomata. Stomata also gives out excess water. Upper layer, chloroplast. Closed stomata, open stomata. Pull up your sleeves. Take a leaf from a plant which has been exposed to sunlight for some hours. Keep the leaf first in boiling water and then in hot alcohol for some time. The green pigment, chlorophyll, will dissolve in alcohol. The leaf will now be colorless. Place the colorless leaf in a white plate. Pour a few drops of iodine solution on the leaf. The leaf turns blue-black. This shows there is starch in the leaf. Pull up your sleeves. Take a potted plant. Place it in the dark for 24 hours. Cover one of its leaves with a strip of black paper or insert it in a bottle. Now, keep the plant in sunlight for about 8 hours. Pluck the leaf covered with black strip or bottle. First boil it in water and then in alcohol. Now, wash it in cold water and add a few drops of iodine solution on it. You will see that it does not turn blue-black because it could not prepare starch in the absence of sunlight. Thus, sunlight is needed for photosynthesis. Functions of Leaves Leaves are the kitchens of the plants as they make food for the plants. Leaves help the plants to breathe in and breathe out. Spinach, cabbage, dulci, neem. Leaves of some plants such as spinach, fenugreek, lettuce, cabbage, etc. are edible. Leaves of many plants such as neem, dulci, mint, etc. have medicinal properties. How do leaves make food? Green plants use carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight as raw materials for the preparation of food in their leaves. Plants usually take in water from the soil through their roots. The water is carried through the stem to the leaves. Plants take in carbon dioxide through the stomata. Chlorophyll in the leaves absorbs sunlight that falls on the leaves. The process in which green leaves use light to convert carbon dioxide and water into food is called 
photosynthesis. Photo means light, and synthesis means putting together. The outcomes of products of photosynthesis are glucose, oxygen, and water vapor. Glucose is the food of the plants. Oxygen and water vapor are removed as waste from the plants. The process can be written as follows. Carbon dioxide plus water with sunlight and chlorophyll gives glucose plus oxygen. Find an answer. How do non-green plants satisfy the requirement of food? Infomine. Excess food made by leaves is stored as starch in parts of the plant that are specifically modified to store food. Up for review. Match the following. Number one, plants. Number two, lamina. Number three, petio. Number four, made rib. Number five, stomata. A. Flat, broad part of leaf. B. Small openings. C. Vein running through the center. D. Producers. E. Stalk like structure. Energy flows in living things. All living things need food to get energy. Sun is the main source of energy. Green plants use this energy to make food during photosynthesis. This food is stored in the leaves and different parts of the plants. Plant eating animals and human beings eat up this stored food. Flesh eating animals eat plant eating animals as food. Like this, the energy from plants flows to humans and animals. This flow of energy in the form of food is called the food chain. Food chain is a series in which each type of creature feeds on the one below it. Food chain. Infomine. Many food chains interlinked together form a food web. Interdependence between plants and animals. Plants and animals depend on each other for their survival. Plants give food to eat and oxygen to breathe to the animals. Plants need carbon dioxide for preparing their food. Animals breathe out carbon dioxide, which is used by plants. Take a look. Parts of a leaf. Blade. Petiole. Veins. Midrib. Stomata. Photosynthesis. Sight. Leaf. Requirements. Carbon dioxide. Chlorophyll. Sunlight and water. Products. Glucose. Water vapor and oxygen.